sign action, and we're just about set to kick off. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Both teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. He's tackled right around the 38-yard line. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. And he carries the ball for a nice game. So he picked up a few on that run. Yeah, he did a nice job of using his blockers on that run. Really a nice read. Seven yard line. Getting the ball to your tight end and allowing him to make plays in the passing game can really open things up on the outside for your real speedsters. Fires out to his wideout. They'll bring him down at the 39. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. with an offensive game plan if you can take away their ability to run. Here's the eighth play of the series. And he's level at the 18. First and 10, ball on the 18 yard line. was just all over that play. It didn't fool anybody. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Slings it. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. They'll line it up again on third down. incomplete great effort here by the big man getting his hands on the ball but it would have been even more impressive if he'd hung on to it this will make it a field goal game kicks away and it is good looks like
side there, ready for the kick. Excellent kick. He's to the 20, tries to get around the corner. Tackle made at the 26-yard line. The Knights and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. When you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. And I'm sure we're going to see it again today. He's knocked out of bounds at the 37th. From their own 37-yard line, it's first down. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. As a defender, you want to keep your hands up. Maybe you can come away with a pick or at least deflect the ball. Third and seven. Ball on the 40. Caught a big hit there to stop it. Why in the world would the offense run a route short for the first down? That just baffles me every time I see that. down at the 29. Well, the last drive was good for three, but I'm sure in this one they'll be looking to double that. They go to the ground game, and they'll bring him down behind the line. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. Green nine, green nine. Screen pass. He's got his half back. He's pushed out of bounds right around the 32-yard line. get this one off and it's a beauty he's taken down at the 24 we played one quarter the Mustangs lead three nothing we can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first tight ball game folks there hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams in games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. On the ground, up the middle. Tackle made at the 23-yard line. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. I think the offensive line missed a block there. Somebody did. It was like a jailbreak up front, and the linebacker will get the credit for the sack. He heaves it deep. Incomplete. Almost picked off.
He makes it to the 48-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. There's a play fake. And he's tackled at about the 49. Quick pass. He didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 49. First down grab by the receiver, and down he goes at the 41. Sets up a screen, tailback's got it, and he hits him hard at the 43. From the 43 yard line, second down. Setting up blockers or running backs got it on the screen. They'll knock him down for a loss. He'll try to change the field position and especially not get it to the end zone. He brought, no, he faked it. And down he goes at the 43-yard line. So they turn it over on downs, and that's a big boost for this defense. In a close game like this one, it's big plays like this that can be the deciding factor. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Makes it to the 47. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's good for a in three yards. That makes it second and six. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Mike 40, Mike 40, check, check. He's coming, he's coming. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. First and 10. It's first and 10. Ball on the 33-yard line. And he's taken down at the 21. That's good for a gain of 12 yards. First and 10. Here comes the pressure. First down grab. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. First and goal from the one, looking to punch this one in. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. Touchdown. Call by the coach there. Just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line. And he converts the extra point. 
A nice six play, 58 yard drive, and they put up seven points. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. Taken from the 10. You know, we're getting so used to pinball football with a lot of points. Kind of fun to see defenses play this well. Kind of refreshing, isn't it? I mean, every single week we call games and you're seeing scores in the 30s and 40s. This is one of those low-scoring games. Which offense will get that big break? Eventually, it could be the team that wins it. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Catches it, and that's all. And they get five yards from that completion. Not a bad play. They gain five yards out of it, and they keep moving the defense back. Second and six. Ball on the 25-yard line. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. Well, he must have hurried there because his receiver was wide open. There was no need to rush that one at all. Throws it away. Nothing clicking there. Let's see if they can make a few adjustments before their next series. Oh, man, did he take a hit. The Knights offensive staff, I think, has done a good job of keeping their wide receiver in the game, even though he's not having great stats. He's part of it, and the rest of the team now is picking up his slack, I think. Well, this offense is still putting points on the board, and I think at times they're actually using the wide receiver, the go-to man who's drawing so much attention, really as a decoy to open up other avenues of this offense. We've seen other receivers make some plays. They're running the football. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments this defense makes to try to slow down these other members of this offense, and who knows, maybe that could open it back up for that marquee receiver. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. Lost the ball. Fumble. Offense falls on it. The Knights call a timeout. That's their second of the half. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep. Those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. From the 37-yard line. Second down. Fires it out. Good open field tackle. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. Throws in a hurry. This one will fall incomplete. This is a very well-coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. From the 14-yard line. Second down. He's tackled at about the three-yard line. That makes it first and goal. Quick throw, almost intercepted. the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Number 25, to return. Number 
Well, you know the offense would like to generate more than they did on their last possession. Fires that quickly, incomplete. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. Well, I think he came down with it, but from up in the booth, it's hard to tell. Get it right after the review. They call it a catch, and play will continue. They bring the quarterback down. From their own 27-yard line, it's third down. And he can't get away from the pressure. As they head to the locker rooms, this one is far from over. 14-3, Knights. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. David, I'm sure there are plenty of people out there just loving this game. I mean, these two teams are spinning the magic bead all <laughs> over the yard. Big numbers on offense. Pitch and catch, run after the catch, all the offenses work. Yeah, I, there's nothing to talk about defensively, but if offensively, if you want to start talking about it, I mean, everything that you're doing is right. And to be able to throw it deep, to be able to throw it short, to be able to make the defense honor every part of the field, the offenses are really in rhythm. They're really in a groove. And this is one of those games that you, you see a lot on the West Coast. I mean, it's just, it's, it seems like there's not a lot of defense, but the offenses know what they want to do and how they want to do it. And the scoreboard just goes doo -doo 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 -doo. just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I always got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. <laughs> Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. All right, Reese David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He really got a hold of that kick. <laughs> And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. He's to the 40. They'll bring him down at the 48-yard line. First and ten. Ball on their own 48. A one-yard gain by the halfback. You're not going to be able to get by a sure tackler like this linebacker too often. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 42. And they'll get him in the backfield. He 
fires it out. Looking for six, and he got it. Touchdown. He's a nightmare to try and cover, and he showed you why right there. His speed just melts coverage schemes. He splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He's taken down at the 31-yard line. The Knights continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. The offense is going to try to open this field up, coming out at a five-wide set, and the defense counters with their dime look. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. From their own 46-yard line, it's first down. Brought down at the 38-yard line. That's pretty impressive. Accuracy is important, but just as important as having receivers that can make plays. From the 38-yard line, first down. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Tackle made at the 30. In the shotgun and five wideouts. There's a strike complete. He's taken down at the 16-yard line. From the 16-yard line, first down. And they make the stop at the 8-yard line. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking scheme. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. This is the eighth play of this drive. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. So here we go. It's third and goal from the three-yard line. Tackle at the three. The halfback picks up a yard. The kick is up, and it's good. all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. The Knights had that hot hand on offense, and they just keep on going here in quarter number three. The greatest thing you can say about these guys today is consistency. They are moving the football and putting points up on the board. They're going to be tough to beat. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. Run there. 
brings him down. down. Gained five, five yards. yards. That, that brings him second and five. five. Second and five. Ball on the 30. And down he goes at the 44 yard line. Number nine with the tackle at the 44 yard line. That makes it first and ten. Two times, two times. Go down, go down. Hey, go on, Mike 40, Mike 40. Pitches it. He's got the corner. And they push him out at the 38. That's good for a game of 18 yards. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 38. tackled at about the 19 yard line they're eating up a lot of field on this drive i'm really impressed with their ball control zips it to the tight end what a play to set him up with a first and goal Number nine with the tackle. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. That makes it first and goal. I got eight. I got eight. I got eight. Yes, sir. Hey, Mike. Run, run, run. They can't bring him down, and he's in. He's got a nose for the end zone. What more can you say? He wasn't giving up on that run until he was in for the score. And he adds the extra point. It looks like they're ready for the kick. And it's a short kickoff. He's taken down at the 30-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he's taken down at the 45. That makes it first and ten. their own 45-yard line. It's first down. So at the end of the third quarter, the Knights lead it 28-6. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Field. He's tackled around the 43 yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 43. Quick out to his receiver. He's hit and taken down. So the sack makes this a second and long. Throws it in a hurry. A 
That's a great tackle at the 16. From the 16-yard line, first down. it to the nine so they pick up three on the option keeper he really did a nice job of anticipating the run and making the play on the ball carrier third down and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down makes a grab and steps out right away i like this wide receiver a lot he knows where he needs to be on the field so the quarterback can get him the ball. He made a terrific play to keep this drive alive. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. That brings him second and goal. It's second and goal. Four yards out. Less than three minutes in the game. Quick throw, tight end, touchdown. So the offense will stay on the field and attempt the two-point conversion. play 69 yard drive and they'll come away with six points after failing on the two-point conversion an amazing drive for this offense outstanding execution if you're the defense you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of safety tackle at the 42 both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead this defense has really got to step it up and make it stop Gains his way to the 33-yard line. That's a gain of nine on the brother. That makes it second. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. They'll drop him for a loss. That was well defended by this defense. The offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that. Five wide. They'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. The Mustangs, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. They're about four yards away here on second down. And he gets a yard on the run. Just under two to go in the game. it takes for a linebacker to get from his position into the backfield to make a play like that. That's well done. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points.
He gets it up, and it sails through the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And they can forget about returning this one. I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. And he tackles him hard at the 40. three-yard line from their own 43-yard line it's second down they'll spread the field with five wide and he just gets rid of it it all going deep incomplete almost picked off almost a big play he patrols the deep part of the field like a center fielder though he didn't make the catch like one calls for the fair catch they're set to go for another round We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. The Knights, coaching staff, Kirk, do they start wondering, hey, uh, are we going to have trouble with our star player after the struggles he had today? Well, I think the coaching staff's got to be happy that this team was able to win the football game and overcome the fact that their star player didn't have a great game. But I think making adjustments and changing the game plan because their star didn't deliver, I think that would be a big mistake. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.